I just want to stay still because I'm loving how it's fanning out. Anyway, hi everyone. Happy Thursday. Wait, no, sorry. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I get so confused because my off days are so different than most. So I was already a day ahead before I needed to be a day ahead. It is officially my Sunday. I have been spending the day at home really just cleaning, doing laundry, doing all the stuff that needs to be done before the work week begins for me. My work week starts on a Thursday, so I just try to get as much done in the house as I possibly can. You know, honestly, that kind of leads me to something that I think about a lot, and that is we need to make three-day weekends a thing, okay? Two days is just not enough to be able to relax, to be able to get everything done in your home and to be able to socialize, do all the things you need to do. I am totally a fan of three-day weekends. If we can make that a thing, let me know. Staying hydrated. I've made it a goal uh, starting this week to start drinking a lot more water. My schedule is so go, go, go. And a lot of times reporting, I'm in areas where there's just not a quick bathroom. Like I'm not in a cubicle. I'm not in an office where I could just get up and just walk to a bathroom. Sometimes I might be in stories in the middle of nowhere and there's no bathroom. So a lot of times it's always like a balance between having a bathroom and drinking enough water. I'm actually going to do um, an eye mask. My eye masks came in the mail today. We'll put those on together. This is what I use. I actually saw this online and I was able to find it on Amazon. Actually, they're really good. I will tell you, uh, before I anchor in the morning on the weekends, I put these patches under my eyes um, before I leave the house and I drive to work with them on. I commute, it's like, you know, a few minutes, whatever. And then I get into the station, put on my makeup and whatnot, but I really do feel as though that it has really helped with my puffiness under my eyes, um, as well as kind of controlling some of the dark circles. These are the collagen under eye patches. I wanna show you here so you can see what they look like. This is not an ad. This is literally just me sharing some of my, my fun finds. Um, but yeah, you can find it on Amazon. It's about 20 bucks and it comes in a pack of 20 for my ladies and gents who like to have clear eyes. Tell them Ali sent you. <laughs> kind of just want to show you what we're working with here. It's really quite simple. Uh oh, I dropped one on the floor. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll figure that out. See, I told you guys I've been doing laundry all day. Let's pause for the beautiful tones. That is the dryer. All right, so I just throw these under like that. Boom. For the girlies in the back, you can see the glow because they're a beautiful gold. I've seen some people wear them further down on their faces. I see some people that push them right up. I tend to love it when it's pushed right up to the eye. So I feel like from here down, about right here, is where the puffiness starts to kick in. And that's what we're trying to get rid of and avoid. So yeah, I leave these on for about 20 minutes. They're like jellish and they're chilly, they're cool. So it feels like really nice on the face. I'm just gonna continue on doing housework, laundry, nothing really fun to see, but it is life nonetheless. Okay, we are great to head to Publix. I've got a few things to get. I don't have a huge list, but I definitely have a few things that I wanna get. I was thinking of doing my chicken tonight, which is like, <laughs> it's my world famous chicken that I perfected when I used to live in Birmingham, Alabama. But yeah, so let's go and let's shop till we drop. Not till we drop, just get the things we need. Hey, yeah. well, how are you? Good, thank you. You all, Publix is so expensive. I spent $130. I'm like, on what? Like, on what? What did I spend $130 on? So expensive. Anything else I need? You all, I 
am done in the kitchen, as is usually the case in our house, because Eric, as always, is an amazing cook, and he took over, and he cooked the rest of the chicken, so therefore I did not film the entire prep to pan to oven process. I will show you the finished product. Let me stop. This one's still on up. Good morning. I know I did not vlog really yesterday. Honestly, it was just a really busy work day and I was so tired by the time I got home from work. Got home, had some dinner, and of course, the Love is Blind reunion was just everything. Now it is Friday. And I am getting ready for work. I'm putting on my eye patches because, of course, I'm actually going to be going into the station today because I'm going to be anchoring today. So I just wanted to do a morning check-in, see how everybody's doing. This is one of my favorite cups. Are you kidding me? How many of you feel like this on the regular? <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I'm going to be taking you guys to work with me today. I'm going to start getting ready. I will see you guys at the office. We're at work. I'm gonna get ready to start my makeup and get ready for our noon show. pencil. It's called Spiked. That's the color that I use. Mm -mm. I stay losing brushes. I don't know about you, but I'm always like, where's this brush? Where's that brush? I don't know where they go. They just disappear. I get the question all the time. Oh my goodness, you're on TV. Who does your makeup? Me. It honestly is such a compliment when someone's like, oh my gosh, your makeup looks so good. Because so I'm like, me? Little old me? I barely know what I'm doing, but thank you. for the noon show guys. Actually I forgot to do just a tad bit of blush to rosy the cheeks just a little bit. A little blush to let you look alive honey. We are alive. Here's my outfit. I've literally had this dress for years. My aunt got this for me like almost 15 years ago and it still fits. Whatever. I'm gonna switch into heels once I get into the studio. Good afternoon, South Florida. Here are some of the stories making headlines right now. Okay, I just finished the show. Now we gotta go get ready for the three o'clock show. We are tracking a package. I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. Three, two, one. Good morning, Andrew. <laughs> Our so when we were so young. Oh no, this was literally just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> 